Get happier. Get out. And um, how do you see real activism? Because in general, it's just like a reaction. Yeah. Most outrage about TV events is a uh, mere reaction. I like to stress acting, not just reacting. Acting means you understand the effects of what you're doing. You want to direct it a certain way, the interpretation of your actions. So, when you have this outrage over Gaza, um, and other things are going on right now, this uh, month of August 2014, you have people through the TV landscape, or their TV body, hearing about all kinds of conflict and missiles, crashing planes and killing people and kids and children. Um, naturally to be upset, that's a reaction. That's in, that's, that is given, you will react rather uh, upset to this scenario because you're human. Then you gotta recognize, well, I saw it on TV, they're not going to give me the actual facts. They haven't got time to tell me the facts because the chip landscape is moving so fast that the TV has to keep up with the speed of the chip landscape, which is all these countries responding to the public relations of what their statement is in relation to the conflict in the news. So to get on TV and, pro well, the protest, and be in the streets and create imagery for the TV landscape is um, enhancing the distraction of television. Even though it teaches everybody what's going on, nobody really stops to wonder if that is what is being presented. So you can't figure that out. No one's going to tell you what's real or not. So you just assume that what you see and hear on TV is real. So your chemical body reacts and it provides content for the TV body which is not going to encourage reaction, uh, encourage um, activist completion of your aims because the chip body demands every country and government to present their position so they pretend they've got boycotts, embargoes, and get upset with Putin, blame everything on Putin, that's a new uh, uh, bumper stickers. I blame Putin. And uh, so you have the reaction of the TV images of each country and institution that's involved. While the speed of the chip body means that most people are engaging other data pretty quickly, quadrophenically. So um, you can make all the noise you want, but it's the Android meme isn't listening. The people get on there and protest. The TV and the chip body broadcast, comment on the content, and people think it's directed back to them. It's just the different parts of the media landscape feeding off each other to get digital currency, to get Bitcoin, and Bitcoin mania. So, um, how do you think anybody can take responsibility and, and bring in an agenda with all that noise going on on the chip body level and the TV body? So activism would be relaxing, allowing, and understanding the process. To understand it means you're not, you're not emotional about it. You become a force field. And apparently, if the more force fields which is the definition of love, and the more force fields that are interacting with the Android meme resolution is just around the corner. So, go ahead and get mad. Don't expect any results from that. Just look at larger entities public relations organizations will hijack the cause for their tribal purposes and their media environment's purposes. You'll be used, but if you remain cool about it, knowing that it was just a joke 
to get everybody all worked up and to provide content for the mm. TV, you maintain your aristocratic cool, which we advocate here. <laughs> maintain your aristocratic cool. Now, when you're talking to people in the chemical body, agree with them. Whatever they're saying, agree. Don't argue with them. Okay, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Agree with me. If I'm the first one to say it, everything everybody agrees with me, then I'm in charge for 15 seconds. But don't come to me to make it practical. We keep it comprehensive. Sign this petition. <laughs> yeah. I would sign any petition. Any petition that was sent to me, if they could find me. They're not going to find me. Very rare you get, get me to be located. Where am I right now? I'm in some room in Europe, maybe? Where am I right now? You just disappeared a while ago. <laughs> so where are you? <laughs> yes, I did actually disappear on the way home on our bikes today, August 5th, 2014. I thought you disappeared, but it turned out I had disappeared, literally lost each other. But Roxanne kept her cool, I kept my cool. I just stayed where I last saw you, and eventually you reappeared. Yes, but where are we now? <laughs> uh, we are inside that digital Android Mimic device, and it's inside everybody. So we're inside everybody's digestive system right now, and they're inside us 24 7. Video drone. We're trying to get you back to God.